Hello and welcome to another video. Yesterday I upgraded my Windows 8 to Windows 8.1 as it's free from the from the store and obviously there's plenty of other videos about about the differences between Windows uh, 8 and 8.1, the start menus back and and, uh, and and so on and so forth. However, what I want to briefly talk about is the fact that I installed it and it re you know it installed very easily, it rebooted itself a couple of times, two or three times, and it came up to the desktop and it all worked, etc. etc. And I noticed it was fast, it was accessing my NAS box a lot faster than uh, than it had done uh, uh, previously. However, um, this morning I switched on my PC, it came up to the uh, splash screen, you know, the Windows sort of splash screen, and you press the button on your keyboard, and then you can type in your password if you've got a Windows account or whatever, and it will all work. Okay, however, keyboard and mouse, the keyboard and mouse uh, would not work. So try plug them as different USB ports or the usual sort of stuff and, st and, and to no avail. Uh, it wouldn't, for some reason it wouldn't go into the BIOS very easily either, although it did get in there in the end. However, when it did go into a Windows diagnostic sort of mode, you know, where you can um, put it into refresh or safe mode, the keyboard and mouse would work then, which really confused me. Because why would they work? Why would they work then and not other times? But what it turned out to be was. So as I said earlier, if it come up to this screen, uh, it would uh, the mouse and the keyboard would uh, would uh, would actually work. But it wouldn't work when it, if you come out of this and uh, so you restart it, you come out of this and it come up to the um, Windows splash screen. There's no way you could get in to, to do your password or um, or anything. This was it in my case, and no matter what I did with the keyboard, no, no matter what I did, I've unplugged it now because I've got, got it working. No matter what you did, you could not get. That's that was it, and the mouse wouldn't wouldn't work either. Obviously, it does work, and I can go I, I, I can go into it. And this is how I solved it. This is my Zeus uh, BIOS. And what it was, I have to go into advanced mode. My mouse isn't working. What a pain. Um, so I have to go into advanced mode. There we are. Go into there. Go along to... I think it's advanced. And... Where was it? USB configuration, I believe, and I had to go to Intel XHCI mode, and the options I had it was set to Smart Auto, and I had to set it to I don't know if it'll work on the other ones, Auto enabled or disabled. But I set it to disabled. Now it's to do with USB free and also for the legacy, but I sort of don't know if I stop USB free work, and I don't think so. You can. Uh, say so in the comments if you uh, if you know uh, much more about this and also what XHCI mode actually um, uh, well what actually does and stands for. However, I did that and then I um, saved it. Obviously, um, I come out of it. Where are we? Save changes and uh, exit. In this case, I'm discard in case I've changed anything else, which I haven't, and it should just boot up nicely to to the desktop. Exit. I would have saved it obviously, but in this case not. And we can log in. Anyway, I hope that helps in case anybody else has been tearing their hair out with this, with this exact problem. It might just be Zeus motherboards. Hopefully Windows or uh, Microsoft will, will fix this uh, with some sort of update or something soon and nobody else will have this problem. Because as I said, it would work in one way, but it wouldn't work in another, so it's really confusing. For those you know that don't know the ins and outs of, uh, of motherboards, etc.